OpenAI has launched the latest version of ChatGPT dubbed the ChatGPT4 and it is more intelligent than ever, more accurate than ever, faster than ever. Basically, the latest version of ChatGPT brings in a ton of new features and improvements over the previous version and in this video, I tell you about the 10 incredible features and real life use case scenarios of ChatGPT4 that will blow away your mind. But of course, before we go ahead in this video, consider hitting that red subscribe button for detailed tech videos and also turn on the bell so that you don't miss any of our latest updates. With that said, let's get started. So one of the limitations of ChatGPT 3.5 was that we were restricted to only text input, but with the latest version of ChatGPT 4, OpenAI has added this feature of image search. So now you'll be able to upload an image and on the basis of that uploaded image, you'll be able to ask ChatGPT for a suitable response. So uh, that way, you know, maybe you can get an output in the form of an image or a written response, but uh, this is definitely cool. Up until now, you could only add text, now you can add image. So maybe when you get access to ChatGPT4, try, uh, try adding an image of AI and then ask ChatGPT4, how can we kill AI? Now with ChatGPT4, you'll be able to put in a query or a request or a prompt in up to 25,000 words. So that can be an extended conversation. As I said, it can be a query, it can be a document search. And on the basis of uh, that request, ChatGPT4 will be able to provide you with a suitable response. Now, of course, I don't think so anyone would be putting in that kind of a request of up to 25,000 words. At least not the average consumer uh, won't be doing it. But uh, to give you a perspective of how much 25,000 words are, well, that's the amount of words used in a full length feature film's script. Now, one of the best things that you can do with ChatGPT4 is that you can now code computer games with ChatGPT4. And I'm talking like entire computer games can be recreated with the help of ChatGPT4. Now, one user on the internet has even managed to recreate Pong with the ChatGPT4 and he managed to do it in under a minute. Now, of course, uh, ChatGPT 3.5 uh, could also recreate Pong, but that was a tedious process. It required some debugging, but with ChatGPT4, the user did it in one shot. It was a seamless process and it was quick. Now, this one is an obvious one, but I have to tell you that ChatGPT 4 is a way, way, way smarter than ChatGPT 3.5. So uh, when it comes to advanced, like complex uh, problem solving, ChatGPT 4 can do it with ease because it has a higher accuracy in comparison to version 3.5 and uh, you know it has a broader general knowledge and advanced problem solving abilities which makes it like much much better accurate and more intelligent than chat gpt 3.5 you know chat gpt 4 even surpasses chat gpt 3.5 when it comes to advanced reasoning capabilities so a chat gpt 4 user has claimed that the ai tool can also help look for a new medical drug so what this means is that uh, you can give any any particular any currently available drug on the market you give that name to the ai tool and then uh, chat gpt 4 will be able to identify the compounds of that drug with similar properties modify them to ensure that they are not patented and, you know even help you find a supplier so where you can purchase the new medical drugs you know, ChatGPT4 is so smart that you no longer need a tutor to apply for bar exams. So ChatGPT4 is well equipped and well capable to pass the bar exam with a score of a top 10%. And when you compare the score with the last version, ChatGPT 3.5, well, GPT 3.5 actually failed the bar exam with a bottom 10% score. And uh, you know, ChatGPT4 is uh, like well equipped, as I said, well capable to pass all the major exams that there are. So bye bye tutor, hello ChatGPT. Now speaking of tutors, ChatGPT4 also has integration with uh, Duolingo. So if you need to learn a foreign language, again, you don't need a, tweet, a tutor, you only need ChatGPT4 for that. And uh, with the Duolingo's integration, there's this new feature called role play. Role play feature is there. So with this, you'll be able to practice a foreign language and uh, that uh, someone would be able to correct you. Will be, you basically, you'll be chatting with someone so that you can practice and learn better, learn a new foreign language better, except for the fact that uh, that someone will not be a person, but AI. 
Now, probably one of the most underrated use case scenarios of ChatGPT4 is that it can now turn your unstructured data into structured data. Now, everyone knows that unstructured data is a nuisance. I mean, they are hard to sort, manage, and organize. But uh, with ChatGPT4, unstructured data is a thing of the past, and uh, the AI tool finally comes to the rescue. With ChatGPT4, anyone and everyone can uh, generate a one-click lawsuit to sue robocallers. So say if you've received a call from any XYZ business that you think is a spam, in that case, all you need to do is to go to ChatGPT4 and you only have to give a command and the AI tool will literally generate a federal lawsuit based on, under the Telephone uh, Communication Protection Act of 1991. Now, up until now, ChatGPT 3.5 uh, was not able to create any visual presentations, that is PowerPoint presentations and easy words. But with ChatGPT 4, you will now be able to create full-fledged PowerPoint presentations. And all you need to do is to give a topic to ChatGPT 4 and the AI tool will do the rest. Isn't it handy? Now, of course, to take the full advantage of ChatGPT4, you'll have to pay a monthly fee, monthly subscription fee of $20. And if you wish to pay so, then what do you think are the real use case scenarios from this list that you think you can benefit from? Or are there any other benefits that you can think of? Let me know everything in the comments below. And as always, for all the latest in tech, stay tuned to Fiber. I'll catch you all in the next one. Thank you for watching.